Hello, my name is Philip Northover and I work with the Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture as the supervisor of the Crop Protection Laboratory. One of the services that the Crop Protection Laboratory offers is the testing of weed seeds for resistance to herbicides. Herbicides are the chemicals applied to fields and are intended to inhibit the growth and development of unwanted weeds. Weeds compete with crops and cause yield or quality losses and can also enable other pests to cause problems. Knowing if weeds in a field or region are resistant to a particular group of herbicides is critical of the selection of herbicides that will work effectively. Over time, repetitive use of the same herbicide or herbicides from the same chemical group can promote the buildup of weed populations that are resistant to that group of herbicides that share the same mode of action. The tests conducted at the Crop Protection Laboratory to detect herbicide resistance in a sample of weed seed are intended to give a rough idea of the presence and degree of resistance in the sample submitted. The results from a test should not be used as approval for poor agronomic practices, such as reliance on a single mode of action or product group repeatedly until resistance is observed. Testing for herbicide resistance in the laboratory is done on samples submitted by clients such as producers, agronomists, or herbicide companies themselves. A sample submitted for herbicide resistance testing requires the following. Number one, viable seed to perform the test. The herbicide resistance test involves sprouting seeds in various media treated with the test herbicide. If the seed is not sufficiently mature, is damaged, or decayed, it will not germinate. Seeds must germinate the test for resistance. Number two, a minimum of 1,000 seeds, including more than this is preferred, or 2,000 seeds for group eight testing. We can throw out what we don't need, but we can't create more seeds if there are not enough. For wild oats, Avena fatua, and other larger seeded weeds, a thousand seeds is roughly equivalent to the volume of a large coffee cup, about 500 milliliters. For green foxtail, Soteria viridis, or wild millet, and other smaller seeds, the volume of 1,000 seeds is less than this, about 250 milliliters, or a small drink cup. Number three, seeds that are dry. Seeds that are collected wet and placed in tightly woven cloth, plastic, or even paper bags and boxes with little air circulation can rot during shipment and storage. The lab does not dry samples when they arrive, so a dry sample must be submitted. To prevent rotting of collected seed, first select mature seed or collect the whole plant and allow the seed to fill and mature on the whole plant, similar to swathing. For seeds that shatter easily, place harvested plants in a mylar or jute seed bag that can catch shattering seeds as they mature and dry. If it is not possible to collect mature dry seed right out of the field, a simple way to dry the seed is to spread it out on a newspaper and leave it to, at room temperature for at least one to two weeks. Do not heat up the seed or blow air across it to accelerate the process. Air drying will be sufficient. Heat can kill the seed if too intense or put the seed into a deep secondary dormancy. Number four, a submission form from the Crop Protection Laboratory. This should include all of your contact information, the type of plant seed submitted, herbicide group to be tested for. Herbicides may fail to control target weeds for various reasons other than resistance. It is helpful to include a list of all herbicides or other pesticides used in the field and when they were used as this could provide valuable information and a possible explanation why a herbicide failed to control or to target weed in the field yet tested negative in the sample. Herbicide resistance testing is a valuable crop management tool and when used as part of an overall weed management strategy, test results can help with herbicide selection decisions using scientific based information rather than guesswork. If you have any questions, please check out the Saskatchewan Agriculture website at www.agriculture.gov.sk.ca or contact the lab by phone or email.